The Internet of Things involves many networked devices, like the appliances in this smart home, communicating with one another. By 2020, there will be billions of these IoT devices in homes, cars, and offices, all connected to the Internet. Simulation-driven design tools will be essential for engineers to create the Internet of Things and make it reliable, inexpensive, and energy efficient. IoT design challenges include high network speeds and low power budgets. ANSYS SIWAVE and Q3D help meet these challenges by simulating signal and power integrity effects in the complex circuit boards and packages used in these applications. The R16 release includes major improvements to the solvers and user interfaces to streamline the user's workflow, speed up simulations, and help identify problem areas in a design. SIWAVE has set the standard for an easy-to-use yet powerful platform for exploring power and signal integrity effects in electronic circuit designs. With the R16 release, the menu-based user interface of SIWAVE has been revamped with modern ribbon controls similar to Microsoft Office. Commonly used commands, such as ones dealing with layout import, 3D model export, and simulation tasks, have been grouped together to make them easier to find. When SIWAVE is launched, a friendly new welcome dialog greets you and helps you import your design from external layout tools. You can easily select what you want to analyze and assign port excitations. The new workflow wizard then guides you through a step-by-step -step process of validating the layout data and assigning simulation models for circuit components. For example, you can check that the automatically generated ports and other circuit elements have been assigned correctly. This workflow encourages users to follow the best practices and helps avoid many common setup errors. In addition to user interface improvements, SIWAVE has some powerful new simulation capabilities. To demonstrate, we'll use the Intel Galileo, a microcontroller board that can be used as the brains of internet-connected devices. We're going to look at the data bus attached to this chip and check it for signal integrity problems using the new TDR wizard in SIWAVE. The TDR wizard lets you quickly choose which nets to analyze, set up excitations and terminations for them, and then launch an electromagnetic simulation. The frequency domain data from SIWAVE is automatically transferred to the Nexim circuit simulator in the electronics desktop for time domain simulation. You can then examine the resulting waveforms for signal integrity problems like delays and overshoots. Another new feature is the signal net impedance scan. This lets you scan an entire board or just a set of selected traces for any unintended deviations from the desired characteristic impedance. You can specify the target impedance values and the tolerances for an error or a warning condition. The analysis is quite fast. Feedback is provided in the form of a color-coded table that shows which nets are out of spec or just barely in spec, or OK. In addition to this, there is graphical feedback in the layout. Trace segments that are out of spec, like these ones that have been routed over holes in the ground plane, are highlighted in red. Analyzing DC power drops in SIWAVE has become much easier in R16. You can now create DC current and voltage excitations and assign them to integrated circuits with very little effort. When the analysis is completed, you can view resistive voltage drops or DC current flow vectors across an entire layer or just on selected nets. This helps you pinpoint problematic areas in the layout where it might be necessary to add more metal. Now let's talk about ANSYS Q3D Extractor, the industry standard tool for extracting RLC parasitics and IC packages and connectors. Q3D has also seen significant improvements in R16. First of all, it has been integrated into the unified ANSYS electronic desktop with the other 3D electromagnetic products. The solvers in Q3D have also been improved. Distributed analysis was first introduced in R15 for the capacitance solver. The R16 release adds distributed analysis capability for the AC resistance and inductance solver as well. This lets you harness the power of multiple computers to analyze very large problems, like this integrated circuit package, that may have hundreds of I.O. or power ground pins. Large speedups are seen in the solution phase when distributed analysis is used. The Internet of Things will be built with a new generation of low-power, networked devices. ANSYS SIWAVE and Q3D give circuit designers the easy-to-use analysis tools they need to find signal and power integrity problems before they go to market. Thanks for watching.